This is the Neil Rogers Show. This is your brain. Any questions? Yeah, lots. Anyway, it's 10.07 at WIB. It's just like old times, isn't it? Boy, you just wait. Just wait a few days. We're going to be rekindling all those old memories. I forgot, by the way, to bring in the uh, Dick Purton tape. So the two uh, pinheads that called in yesterday that were just desperate to hear that again. You have to wait till tomorrow. You'll have to wait till I remember to bring in the cassette. When I'm good and ready to bring it in, that's when you'll hear it, okay? When the dog barks and says, uh, hey, bring the cassette, dummy, that's when I'll remember to bring it in. Anyway, uh, we have something unusual today. We have open phones from 10 to 2. And uh, Richard Simmons, one of my... Um, boy, I have such ambivalent feelings about him, like I do about most people. Because most people are at least 50% full of crap. I think you'll discover that as you go through life. And uh, Richard has been on uh, my show many, many times until the time that he practically strangled me with a, um, an affectionate love grip on my neck. He's not as bad as Joey. At least he doesn't kiss... At least not on the first uh, guest appearance, anyway. But uh, he put his came up from behind me and put his hands around my neck and got a hold of my larynx and just about crushed my voice box, which would have been the end of me. But anyway, he's uh, he's getting fat too. By the way, have you seen him lately? He is putting on the pounds, man. He is really doing it. But he'll be on, uh, I think, by phone, right? I pray. Oh, I hope he's not going to be in a building because if he is, he'll come in here again and start. Uh, schmoozing up to me and I can't he's not my type Richard I'm sorry I don't think you're anybody's type he's going to talk about his predictions for the 90s also from WLRN's off the beaten path can we say that comes Bob Slade oh my god look at this and representatives from WKPX Piper Radio will be here to talk new music and music radio and talk a lot about Elvis Costello and the Ramones no doubt on the Alex Bennett Show. So we got a, a lot of stuff coming up later. Nothing now. We have nothing now. Just the uh, four hours. I, I was going to go into a big song and a dance today about uh, my satellite dish and about my neighbors that I mentioned yesterday. And why is it that n people, neighbors in this town suck so bad? They're just brutal. They're nasty. They're hostile. And, um, and also the city of Plantation lied through their teeth to me. I don't want to mention any names on the air, but they lied. And uh, now they're sending me a notice, a uh, citation. Just, we're just like back where I started two years ago, the same crap with the satellite dish. And the bottom line is they're afraid that you're going to see something that they can't see and you're going to have a good time, which is against the law. And secondly, the cable companies just want to make it as difficult as possible. I have Continental in Plantation, and they have got to be one of the worst, okay? They won't give us GN. See, because all these cable companies are in bed with Ted Turner. They get a special deal because they got uh, CNN and Headline News and the TNT, which is a piece of crap. Did you hear Alex say yesterday TNT was one of his favorites? I can't believe anybody watches TNT. All those old, washed-out 40s movies they put on there, all that crap. Nobody watches TNT. But anyway, in uh, exchange for getting all of that at a reduced price, they carry WTBS, which nobody, unless you want to see Green Acres, uh, nobody wants to see WTBS because the only thing they have of interest is the Braves, and there are only about six people interested in the Braves, plus a couple of perverts that want to see Dale Murphy, and that's about it. And we could have WGN, but instead we get st uh, stuck with that, and of course we don't have Sports Channel either. So if you got Continental, you really are screwed badly, badly, and that's the name of the game. So to the city of Plantation, a special salute. May, you may not be good, but at least you're consistent. You're consistently full of crap. You're like a bunch of little dictators over there, and all you want to do is make everybody's life as miserable as possible, like your $16 a box plantation bags, which I hope, I hope that each one of the city commissioners in Plantation wakes up one morning with a blue garbage bag around his head, okay? With just a few holes in it so that they're still breathing. Barely. Boy, you people make me sick, man. You do things that are not in any way bothering anybody else, or at least shouldn't be, and it doesn't make a bit of difference. It's just uh, hopeless. Same old crap. You don't, want, you don't want to be bored with that, do you? You don't want to hear that same old crap. You don't want to hear me kvetching on the air. You've heard it a million times before. And uh, that's it. If you don't like it, get the hell out of here, right? If you don't like it, leave. That's it. It's never going to change. It sucks. That's the way they want it. They don't want you seeing all that sports and all those movies and having a good time. And American Ecstasy once in a while, too, just for variety. Now, that's, uh, that's old stuff on there, boy. They even have Ron Jeremy movies on there. He looks just like Al Goldstein. I got an incredible letter 
which I think I'll read because i got nothing going today. It's Tuesday. Tomorrow we got our big remote at Spec, so I'm just kind of laying low today, getting ready for tomorrow's big extravaganza. Joey's going to be stopping by, and Rick and Putz, and Fat Rich will be there, uh, force-feeding food down his throat that he doesn't even want just to be a nice guy. Right? Anyway, I got a cr- an incredible letter from Al Goldstein. He is obsessed with this show. He's just uh, obsessed. And a copy of the latest Screw magazine. Maybe we should read some of the uh, columns, the name of some of the columns from Screw. That'll get the license in about five minutes, okay? Well, here's one. We can read this. It's called Not a Peep, Rag Queens, Papal Smear, Prank and File. Now, these are pretty... Uh, there's one here that I'm not going to say. Limp something. I'm not going to read what it says. Anyway, 13 past 10 at WIOD, and, uh, well, you just don't listen, do you? Well, anyway, congratulations to Cheryl and Mitch, who, over the weekend, where did you go? Nowhere. Is that a secret? Okay, they got married, ladies and gentlemen, and we wish them the best. They're just two wonderful human beings. It's a match made in heaven, and I don't say that sarcastically. I say that it's just a wonderful match. It's one of those rare occasions when two perfectly matched people in temperament and taste etc., have a wed and holy matrimony, and they're taking up the office pool right now. Okay, now what is that? That looks pretty good. That's not a bagel. That's an onion roll, right? An onion Thank you, Paul. Paul over at Bagels and Company sent a little stuff here this morning. They're, well, that's uh, what? Vegetable cream. Vegetable cream cheese. Isn't that great? It's not even treif. Look at that. It's great. It's kosher for um, sukkahs. I don't know why sukkahs always comes to my mind. That's because it's the eating holiday. I mean... Passover, you have a little Seder, but Sukkot is like the festival of eating, of pigging out. Fat Rich's uh, ancestors must have started that holiday. Look at that. It's all sliced with all those nice onions. Now, are you doing that for me? Yes. Oh, thank you. I was getting a little nervous. Anyway, it's 1017 at WIOD. Later, I'll read Al Goldstein's uh, letter. Al is obsessed with this show. Boy, he just, uh, I think Al is in love with me. I'm nervous about that because he signs it with love and kisses, Al. And I'm not, uh, have you seen him lately? Cheryl, what? have you seen Al Goldstein lately? Mount Vesuvius on a bad day. Yeah, Got to go on a diet first, Al, and lose about uh, 100 pounds in 100 years. Let's go to Margate for a wonderful call. Hello. Hey, Neil, how you doing? Great. Hey, I got something uh, positive I'll bet you to do. say about the Super Bowl. It's the best time to go out to a restaurant. Uh huh. Went to the pot Sunday. You went to the pot. Yeah, it's great. Well, there are a lot of our listeners who spend a lot of time at the pot. It was great. Mm-hmm. Dip my banana. Yeah. It was unbelievable. Great. Another thing I want to talk about is you do realize that there's no melting pot in plantation, don't you? It's too good for plantation. It's yeah. against the law. In fact, I don't even know how Corky sneaked in. That's right. Anything good there? If they knew how good that was. They'd probably uh, close them up by Friday. Well, they got a good sale on body bags in plantation. I don't want to sound bitter and hostile, but I am. So you moved, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you still well, living in still Jacaranda? Still in plantation. What? You still in Jacaranda? No. I'm, I don't discuss where I live on the air, sir. I mean, are you a brain surgeon or what? <laughs> you want me to give the come, address on the air? I'm going to come cruising by your house. And right? by the way, Marcy, who lives in my complex, who called yesterday, she's called a couple of times. It didn't dawn on me. I was just thinking about this. Thank you. I was just thinking about this, but um, remember she said yesterday, were you listening? Mm-hmm. You don't know what I'm talking about. She said that when the inspector from Plantation came evidently to look at the dish... Yeah, your car. He was looking at the Ferrari. Well, she doesn't live in the same part of the complex that I do, so unless she's a super yenta, how does she know what he was looking at? Unless she's kind of like hanging out the house being a little inspector? Yeah, well, you know what? What a bunch of yentas in this town, you man. fill that garbage bag up. Mm-hmm. Did you guys get the ACN tapes? I beg your pardon? Did you guys get the ACN We don't tapes? discuss these things, sir, until we're ready to discuss them, okay? Well, you played You're just TV. an awful pushy today. You, you, awful. Well, you listen, we're just Stevie giving Nick. you a little we're giving you a little taste. You played Stevie Nicks. Do you hear what I just said? We're giving you a little taste. I want a big taste. I'll give you a taste. It's 1019 at WIOD. That was our first friendly call of the morning, and that should give you visitors a real good idea what this town is all about. Get out before it's too late, okay? Get on the bus and go back where you came from. This is a little, this is good, but it's heavy. I mean, I don't think you're supposed to uh, make a sandwich out of it. Huh? No, you're not. It's too much. Too much. And i got to go to Mommy's today? This is just, um... No, I'm having some orange juice, and I have a little bit of this. A little taste. It's good. It's delicious. Mmm. If you could eat that whole thing, then you'd start gaining some weight. Then you could look like uh, Alice Goldstein in about uh, ten weeks. 
Here's a mobile in Fort Lauderdale. Hello. Hi, do Neil. Okay. Listen, um, everybody sounds like an inspector gadget. Yeah. In your in your place. Uh, anyway, I'm... I had a nightmare this morning. I woke up, I put the dogs down, I went back to sleep, and I had a nightmare about the homeowners association. They came, <laughs> no seriously, and all these weird people came in. They were inspecting my house, and for some reason there was all this mud all over the floor. Probably with a magnifying glass too, right? Yeah. Jesus. Anyway, I'm, I think uh, most of them need a magnifying glass. Well, I'm I'm, I'm starving. I, I I've been eating all day since five o'clock this morning. Why? And I, I'm just hungry. And I'm going to go over to Corky's now, and I'm going to cleanse my palate over there. Good. Excellent. And uh, as a matter of fact, right now, I'm on my way there. And the other thing I was to tell you, I didn't get to call you yesterday, but it was true Super Bowl day. I ate like an animal. Yeah. I felt like it was ESP. I was having uh, Tony the Tiger also. I ate all day long. All day long. But I never I, you, know, you talked about frosted flakes. I, I didn't having... gain any weight. I was, I was too nervous to get on the scale yesterday. Really? So I got on this morning, and I did the same. I didn't gain any weight, which I don't know how. But I had two bowls. Wait a minute, look at that. Bob Barker is on uh, Sally Jesse, and he's wearing a mink coat. A I mink can't coat? believe it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but it's probably made from artificial flavorings and dye number three and stuff like that. Good. Anyway. I hope I hope it uh, gets seeps into his pores and it comes out in his hair. I hope that when they put him in a casket, he dies. It's lined in mink. I hope his hair looks like <laughs> a chipmunk tomorrow on The Price is Right. I like Bob Barker, but he's a little too uh, a little too cozy with those animals, you Things know? He's a little too serious. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he shouldn't take it that serious. That's right. Anyway, I'd like to call all those people that inspect your house and plantation on a bunch of deuce bags, including that Marcy. Okay. Okay? Have a great lunch. You too, bud. Bye. Boy, this is delicious. It's an onion... Not a roll. I don't know what the hell it is. It's like an all long onion thing with the vegetable cream cheese inside. And Cheryl made a big sandwich out of it, and it's uh, disgusting. Just too big. Too big, Cheryl. What do you want, Henry? No, it's Chateau La, La Crap. La Poo Poo. Yeah. 22 past 10 at WLD. We still have a couple of open lines in Dade County. They're not too sociable this morning. Boca and Palm Beach are still wondering what the topic is. 751 WLD. Now, that's uh, a Bialy, isn't it, or is that a flat? Uh, it's hard to tell. I can't tell. It's also loaded with onions. It looks delicious. Excellent. Drink it in good health. Uh, anyway, let me tell you about an auto repair place that really does it great, that had something to say, and it would act relatively normal instead of like... Uh, like they had St. Vitus dance or something. But then that would be wrong. That would be a ripoff. We'll see how it goes at the remote tomorrow, okay? Because I don't think we're going to take any calls. Just like today's show. This is practice for tomorrow, okay? Because we want to get ready for the remote. We're not going to take any calls tomorrow. We're going to take just a few today. We're kind of phased out. Of... Super Dave, I hope you're putting me on, okay? I hope you're putting me on, all right? You know, there are some people you cannot insult. And one thing about doing a talk show in this town, I've been here 14 years, and there are some, you go on the air and you say, it's, it's like a game, like Blind Mike. I didn't hear the call, but he evidently called a certain show on another station this morning because I heard them talking about it. And it's like the more you talk about how chronic these people are and what a pain in the ass and they have nothing to say and how bad callers they are, the more they'll call just to piss you off, okay? Idiots, like children, like little infants, okay? Let's do the mobile first. What do you think about that? Uh, what I have to think about is uh, the Bennett Show, which is virtually unlisted. Sir, I don't want to discuss that, okay? I'm sick and tired. Somebody comes to this market, and right away, all you... It wouldn't make any difference if we put God on from 2 to 6. All you people want to do is call and bitch about Alex Bennett, Stan Major, anybody that's in there. That's all you want to do. And then, if, if the numbers are mediocre, or if they get a lot of flack and they leave, then right away... Oh, Oh, gee, we were just getting used to fill in the blank, whoever it is, okay? You people are so predictable, you make me want to vomit. And if you don't want to listen to it, don't listen to it. But don't call here and tell me about it. I don't care what you listen to at 2 o'clock. I'd like you to listen to WIOD 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, looks like some kind of a lemming. But I can't force you to do that. If you don't like it, don't listen to it. But don't call here and put me in that position constantly, and then I get all the flack. Well, you're ripping, you're doing this, you're... Um, listen, I wish, I hope the guy gets a 10, all right? With a decimal point in the right place. Man, does that piss me off. I'm so sick of it. You people are so predictable. Oh, I don't like this. I don't, what the hell do you want, huh? What the hell do you want? Do you know? Do you have any idea? Have you got any concept? You don't know what you want. You're like a bunch of little babies with rattles out there. You're nauseating. 
But I'm not going to get upset. I'm having a little breakfast here, which I didn't even expect. Thank you, Paul, from Bagels and Company, very much for being a wonderful humanitarian. I'm reaching back in here now for the CD. Screw this, okay? Nobody gets paid enough to put up with this crap. Right? Screw this. And as for you... Neil! What the hell do you want? <laughs> I was in such a good mood this morning in spite of my neighbors. Wait, wait, hold and on I a second. I come in here and all I get is, uh, well, uh, Red Alex Bennett's unlistenable, and then I get you on here. Why don't you give it a rest? Why don't you find a life and go out and do something? I heard you call on another certain show. Uh, when are you going to stop? I call, I call Joey. When are you going to stop? He was dying. Hey, I got news for you. You were like the nail in the coffin, okay, pal? Wait, hold on. Your Neil. call was pathetic. My call was pathetic. You're pathetic. <laughs> no wonder they fired your ass at Y100. You're a disgrace to the human race. You're one of these little radio groupies who has nothing else to do besides listen to jingles and call up radio stations. Why don't you do something constructive like go out and sweep garbage? Wait, hold on a second. At least at least on my show, I've never played air. What show? Y107. What show? Please. What show? <laughs> I'm, I'm working in Fort Myers. Well, what the hell are you calling over here for? Oh, this is, what this... the hell do you want? <laughs> you know, I have spare time. What else am I hey, supposed I to do? Hey, I got news for you. I got several suggestions, okay? But in your case, you don't have the equipment. Neil, in this town, what, what are do you want? To do? What do you want from us? Besides calling Super you... Super Dave, Super Dave, you're another Johnny Dark creation. You're like another nightmare that came from that whole chapter of my life with the Johnny Darks and the Johnny Rabbits and all these out-of-work douchebags. I have enough out-of-work friends. I don't need any new ones. I'm not out of work. Well, thank God for that. <laughs> Why don't you do some show prep now? What time's your show on? Uh, tomorrow. It's well, good. Get started ahead of time. Get started now. Just write out some one-liners, some three-by-five cards. Well, you know, I, I don't have the Olympia some ad libs and ACN to play on my show. So I guess Who I cares have to what you got to play? This show isn't based on bits. I can go the whole week without playing any of those cards. This isn't the bird filling in. Hey, Neil. This hey, is Neil, a real uh, radio show. Neil, Al Goldstein, listen to this, sir. Listen to this. Al Goldstein says in his letter, Al and if Goldstein he says it, zero. Al Goldstein's a genius. He says, I know you think I'm sucking up to you, but I really meant it when I said you're the best on-air radio personality in the United States, maybe even in the world, and I don't even want to borrow your satellite dish or money or your dog. How do you well, like that? Al Goldstein From Al Goldstein. Radio, that's why he's putting out a pornography thing. Exactly, because he knows what this business is all about. Neil, in my, uh, in my what news... do you know about radio? You worked at Y100 sweeping the floor for a couple of months. What do you know about radio? You worked drum, with athletes Mr. putting Neil. a bunch of losers over there at Y100. What do you know? I, I am You're an expert. Old, expert. I heard all radio. that crap you were dishing out to Joey on Saturday. It was embarrassing. Yeah, but... Yeah, These so people the don't want to hear about the business that we're in. They want to hear about topics, Neil, sir. Neil, here are my ratings for the top... I don't care radio about your host. ratings in Fort Pierce. Who cares about your ratings? I'm, who's talking about ratings in Fort Pierce? I'm, I'm then... Yeah, you're what? Yeah, the okay, what? One, Mark you sound Ryan. like one of Steve's callers now. <laughs> well, you Neil, sound you like a Steve Kane reject. <laughs> Neil. What? Take a value. Why buddy. don't you give it a rest? Be Neil. As soon as we say you're chronic, you immediately show up on the phone again like Blind Mike, like Larry Kent, but at least not like Joy Eagles. Martell. All right, number one, uh, Mark and Brian at KLOS. Like Bob Martin. Huh? What? Mark and Brian, KLOS. Don't start being a name dropper. We already got one name dropper here. Don't start that number crap. Two. I don't have any idea who they are. Number two. What is Howard that? Stern. K. Luz? K. Luz? No, it's KLOS. <laughs> number three would be you. What? These number three top, what? The top radio entertainers. Oh, get out of here. You're, give, you're critiquing my work? Well, yeah. A little putz like you is critiquing my work? <laughs> well, all right, all right. What you know about radio, some... even boy Gary knows more about radio than you do, and he knows nothing. And that's embarrassing. Zero. Okay, let's, let's get off and radio And he knows a hundred times more about it than you do, so what does that tell us? <laughs> did, you, uh, did you see uh, our boy so Daryl? You can't insult him at all. You can't. You just, there's just no hope for this guy. Because, Neil, I know, I know this is only radio. It's not only radio. It's the truth. And there, it's, you see, that's the excuse you use to block it out. Neil, we need a psychologist Neil, down here. Neil, you want to see old gentleman. psychologist I, out here. Don't tell me I'm a gentleman. I'm not a gentleman at all. You're a fine gentleman. If I were a gentleman, sure. I'd be sitting here sucking up to you like Joey did on Saturday because he was desperate for a call. Well, you Anybody know, that I, talks to Blind Mike for five minutes about jingles, I mean, how good could that have been? <laughs> it was great. It wasn't great. It was just, see, there you go again. Neil, it wasn't please, great. Please, please. It was what? almost as bad as your call. What did they put in your Bialy this Nothing morning? Nothing at all. I'm just telling it like it is. I'm not holding back anymore. I'm starting to strike out for truth and honesty. Oh, oh 
You know, the first time I if called you show, that. while I was still employed at Y100, you said the following words, and I quote, Boy, he's a breath of fresh air. Yeah, Someone the first time, the first time a breath of fresh air, which is just a joke. You took it seriously. How many people in this market? You're not a know, breath of fresh air. I smell radio. your All breath the day you came zero. out to Highline, man. You could use some some uh, scope. What? I said I smelled your breath at Highline. You could use a little scope. Couldn't hurt. You and Lester. <laughs> that Lester comes up Saturday at the track and he breathes right in your face. His mouth smells like smells like he's been cleaning my backyard with his tongue. Like mung. The worse. All right. Say you... goodbye, Dave. Wait, Neil. Did you Say see goodbye. Dal Strawberry? Say goodbye. Did you see Dal Strawberry? Say goodbye. Jail? Goodbye. Ten thirty-six at WIOD. Hey, listen. I'm telling you, it's not got nothing to do. I'm not in a bad mood. I'm not a bad guy. But the guy just needs to be uh, potty trained, okay? Like the guy in that cart that was sucking around to be in the studio. He won't. Qu- he won't quit. All these chronic voices, man. It's just like, and I don't want to start on Calder's audience, because uh, then I'll get accused of interfering. Granny, every morning at 9.30, it's Granny. The same time. Even Bill says, how come you call every day at the same time? It's like an alarm clock. I don't want to have an alarm clock on my radio unless I'm waking up to it. Every morning at the same time she's on, and she's about as exciting as Metamucil, okay? Give it a rest. Give it a rest. Let's get some new people on the phone today, okay? Let's get some new and exciting and different and sensual and erotic people on the phone today. Some people who at least have some of the equipment, not necessarily all of it, but at least a beginning, something, anything. Oh, hi, Bill. It's Granny. I mean, come on. Give it a rest. And Travel and Matt and Steve and this one and that one. My God, there's four million people down here. We talk to like the same 15 people every goddamn day. When the hell are you people going to get with it? It's 1037 at WIOD. We do have an opening in Dade. WIOD. Yes, let me see to Neil, please. Sure, hold on, please. It's uh, 1037 at WIOD. Let's do a little break here, Melvin. And we'll be right back. Oh, look at that. I just dropped the... Uh, they, they, can't they find a new way to package CDs? I know we've talked about that for a long time. These things, these plastic things, they fall apart. And I just dropped Donny Osmond on the floor. And if you saw what's on that floor now, like his parts have uh, spread all over the floor. Well, let me grab that one there. Okay, it's 1040, 20 till 11 at WIOD. We're not going to sit back and take a lot of crap here today. Just because, you know, just because you think you start out a little mellow and mild... Ah, let's call in and bug him, okay? Stick it in your ear, okay, pal? That's Super Dave. You're chronic. You have the gall, the audacity to call in this program and start rating other people's talent, okay? What you know about radio, we could stick in a thimble and have room for everybody that ever worked at WIOD left over, starting with Mark Pentrack, okay? Mark is in the uh, truck right now out there with Jerry Sullivan with 400 VCRs that they bought with the... Anyway... Let's go to uh, Pompano. Hello. How you doing, Neil? Great. Hey, uh, I got a call yesterday from a nice lady. She says, we're doing a survey. What radio station you listen to? Who is she with? Uh, I said IOD, and she said, do you know Waxy plays your favorite Oh, movies? God. Are they still doing that crap? And she says, plus no elevator music at any time. Mm-hmm. And I said, IOD. And she said, would you listen to Waxy if we paid you 250 250- Two cash? Then you said, how about 5000 I said, IOD, and she hung up on me. Yeah. Tell her to put Rick Shaw in the elevator and uh, just press the button to the top. Yeah. I got uh, uh, forget that call there. Yeah, I forgot it. Hey, I got Doesn't bother me. I roll with the punches, sir. I don't let any of these things bother me. I was in a little uh, local nightclub the other night, about 11.30 at night, and uh, somebody walked up next to me at the bar, and it was our buddy Joey. Uh-huh. And he had a nice-looking uh, 25-year-old guy with him. <laughs> I don't want to start any rumors, but... You know, at midnight on a... I got news for you. Send a guy... I know this good eye doctor. Send a young guy to the... Uh, immediately over there, okay? Yeah. He said, uh... Because I know Joe, Joey don't have any money. You know he works VH1 now weekdays, don't you? What? Huh? Is he really doing that? Yeah. He said, call up Neil and tell him Spy Report. I'm, I'm on IOD Saturdays, and he said, uh, tell him I'm VH1 weekdays. He was mumbling something about that the day he was in here, but I was just trying to get him out. Yeah. Anyway, he said everybody's amateurs down here. That's right. Yeah. Okay, We're not Neil. like the big time, like Buffalo. Okay, I better take that other call. Good luck to you. Could, could be Ed McMahon. Okay. 
Look at that. A couple of people in day dropped off already. What is it? Is there something going on that we don't know about? Is there like Calle Ocho Festival Part 3 going on today? What the hell is going on in Dade County the last couple of days? Pretty interesting. 751-9463. They must be out there collecting the rubber rafts down at the bay. That must be uh, the big pastime today. Got a new influx of voters in Dade County. Mm-hmm. Boy, this is... I can't stop eating it, you know? I didn't even want this. But it's delicious, Paul. Thanks. All I wanted was the orange juice, okay? See, that's what happens to all these uh, people. They're wonderful folks, all the sponsors. They're great, but they force-feed you. And you say, like, not such big portions and not so much. And they still they come in and then they stick it in front of your face. And yesterday, I was supposed to meet somebody for lunch, and I went to one place and he went to the other one, so we never met, which is probably just as well. But the bottom line is Fat Rich comes in here with Taco Bell. Now, he sticks it in front of my nose. I have no willpower. I can't resist. I love Taco Bell. A double beef burrito, no less. You think I could resist that? No way, Jose. No chance. So I'm not going to blame other people for my gluttony, but I just uh, I wish they'd cut the crap already. Here's a fax from somebody who's Dan... Um, I can never read this name. Mm-hmm. Oh, I know what I wanted to ask. Is there anybody... I'm not talking about, like, way up in uh, Palm Beach County... But is there anybody in Data Broward whose cable company still gives him WGN? No? Chuck says no? You know, I think you're wrong. I think there's somewhere like in Lighthouse Point or some small cable companies, one or two, that might still have it. Because I'm thinking about moving again. I really am. I know I've only been there two weeks, but I know I'm going to have to take that satellite dish down. He says they have it in Key Biscayne. Key Biscayne? Oh, man, that would be great. I could live over there with all those goyim. That would be great. <laughs> I could live over by Virginia Beach and just to get my binoculars out and see what's going on over there. See all those people getting busted on the beach. That would be exciting, wouldn't it? Yes. Anyway, I noticed uh, Alex moved into the Grove. Boy, he's going to be sorry, isn't he? Man, they'll be floating all over his uh, his complex. It's 1045. See, uh, it's amazing when people come into town from out of town, they have all these misconceptions, desperately misconceptions. Like he was talking about the Grove is a little like the village and a little like um, something else. I forget what it was. Grove is just uh, make-believe. It's plastic and phony, even though we are going to be there tomorrow, and we love all of our friends in the Grove, but it's uh, not what it's supposed to be. What is that? Oh, that's the cable thing. Thank you so much. Well, let's see. Let's see. A CS, but how do I know where these are? Oh, well, somebody will call in and tell us. No, it does. It has it up here. Uh, cable Vision of Florida, CFL. I thought that was a station in Chicago, WCFL. CFL. Well, where the hell is it? WGN. Come on. It, oh, here it is. Yeah, CFL and CST. There are two cable companies that still have it. Cablevision of Florida, which is where? Well, well, how come it isn't listed here? How come it doesn't say where they are? Somebody will call in and tell us. And CST, Cable Satellite Associates, which is in Miami. That might be the one that's on Key Biscayne. Okay, some uh, nice folks, some desperate folks will call in and tell us, I'm sure. Boynton Beach. Yeah, I wanted to start a rumor. I hear God's doing weekend starting at IOD next week. God? Yeah. Yeah. So I wanted him to go, but there is one problem. I hear he's Jewish, and I know a lot of people don't like that. Sir, up yours. Moron. Uh, we have an open line, two of them in Dade County. Seven five, see what I mean about the caller? 751-9463. Now I know why Alex don't take a lot of calls. A dish advice from Pompano. Hi, Neil. Yeah. I got the place for you to move. Deerfield Beach. No, I live get there. out. Deerfield I Beach. Like this for a I year. want to live they where some people are animals. alive, sir. Not in a mausoleum. I put my dish up. I get everything that we need to get and no hassles about the dish. It's quiet. People leave you alone. What do you mean no hassles about it? Why is that? Because they don't know about it? I What's your address? From the city, I got a nice little permit. We I'm not going through any more permits. I'm not screwing around with these cities. Okay, I've got this umbrella dish. Nobody can even see it. It's a beautiful patio uh, umbrella, I and got I got a, nice a couple of neighbors. I, I hope that God sends a bolt of <laughs> lightning into their living room and that poison frogs come running in and puke all over their sofa. Okay. I'm telling you though, but I had no hassles. I'm serious. I hope there's just a year. big pool of. Of frog poison all over their living room, and they have to do a little Kazatsky to step around it, okay, for forever. Forever. And I'm going to stay in that house just out of spite, and I'm going to sneak out of my room into the backyard and make guttural noises at 3 in the morning to wake up my dog so they start barking at the top of their lungs. Let me tell you about my neighbors who complained about my dish. 
they have a dog that doesn't bark, it howls. Oh, that's the okay? worst kind. Oh, that's the oh. worst. Constantly howls, and I'm going to tell you, as much as I love dogs, I looked at it, and it's just the right size of my microwave, okay? Oh, just exactly the perfect size. Be, be careful. Hey, screw them, man. <laughs> uh, anyway, Let him call up Bob Barker and bitch Neil. about it. What? Deerfield is the place for your dish. No hassle. Okay, I'll put the dish up there. I'll just stay in the house. There you go. You're going to have to run a long cord. That's okay. All right. See ya. Stay well. Sounds like a guy who had his cord tied in Deerfield. It's 1048 at WIOD. We have an opening in Dade. What in Broward? Trying to motivate these people out there today. Boy, I can see all week long it's going to be like this. I just have a premonition. And all those cackling... If you come in the studio in the afternoon, and I hope we do have a nice, lively studio audience for Alex every day, don't make an ass out of yourself, okay? Stop with the cackling and the chuckling. It's it's embarrassing. Every little word, everything that's... I mean, give it a rest. I mean, wait till the funny stuff comes. Like about two weeks. It'll be great. It's 1049 at WIOD. We, look at that phone, man. Look at that. Just psychotic. WIOD. Hi. I, may I speak to Neil? Sure. Hold on, please. WIOD. May I speak to Neil? Sure. Hold on. How come when I answer him, no problem, Melvin. No problem. Look at that. we got seven lines. Everything but Palm Beach. You just It's just beyond your grasp, Melvin. Let's face it. It's just a little bit too difficult for you to handle. I'm going to go back and start doing like I did the last couple of days. I'm just, when they ring, I'm going to, no matter what we're, the, even if it's somebody important like Paul Harvey Jr., we'll put them on hold and just get those lines. That's the important thing. Here we go. Look at this. Palm Beach. Hey, you better watch what you say about the Cuba, man. <laughs> that was good. W-Y-O-D. Okay. Line checker. Come on, League. Do some show prep, will you, babe? It's showing badly. Do a little show prep. Call up Steve in New York. See what he did today. Besides die. Palm Beach. Mobile, and I got absolutely nothing to say, Neil, but have a nice day. Okay, thank you, sir. Good one. See? Just leave it to me. I'll take care of these. Palm Beach. Neil. Yeah. Um, I was reading the... Uh, the come on, come on. It's, uh, we got a break coming up here. Chapter 11. Uh, the, don't uh, flimfy around like you don't know what's going on. Get with it. you got something important to say. St. Gregory's Chapter La 11, what, you Saint declared Gregory's it? St. Gregory's La Fondue. Really? Yeah. Oh, that doesn't surprise me. Another one of Steve's winners. Me neither. Yeah. With that mouse meat fondue, man, it was right. fantastic. Went to the original one over the weekend. It's great as always. The where? Oh, the pot. The pot, yeah. I thought you meant uh, the other place. No, 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 Scared the, the one. daylights out of me. Yeah. Yeah, well, you know, there are a lot of imitators, just like on this show. You know, people that rip off our material, like Janet Cowan, but, uh, you know, the original is always the best. Okay. Have a great life. Good luck to you. Thank you. I'll need it. Okay, 1051 at WIOD as we search for WGN. I mean, I know that uh, Channel 7's given us uh, 20 or 25 or 29 weekend games, but that's not enough. I mean, I, you know, you can't go from 140 games or 150 like I saw last year to 25 and be satisfied, okay? Especially when Mike Balecki and Greg Maddox are pitching. I have to see every pitch. Okay, let's do a little break, Melvin. Let's cut the crap on that what? Oh, we did it all? Oh, you did it all in that one break. Well, excuse me. Isn't this fun now? We don't have to interrupt with all those stupid promos. W-I-O-D. Yeah, I can pick the nail. It's the only station that has 90-second promos, sir. I've never heard of it. We do like uh, two quarters of play-by-play -play in, in one promo. It's amazing. Yes, sir. Yes. Speak. Didn't he just say, I want to speak to Neil, or am I hallucinating? Hello. <laughs> okay, let's put him on hold, okay? I guess he's not prepared. Uh, Coral Springs, hello. Coral Springs, that was on a vocal line. You should have known better. Boca. This is Gilbert Jr. Um, Deerfield. Deerfield, hello. Yes, sir. I just wanted to tell you, I live in Pompano Beach, which is unincorporated Broward, just oh. west of Pompano Beach. Yeah. I got a satellite dish on a 20-foot pole, and nobody bothers me. Well, you're unincorporated, right? Right. I didn't need any permit to put it up. Good. I That's where in... I'm going. I'll be there tomorrow. I even live in a homeowner's association. I told them to stick it in their ear when they told me I couldn't. Good. Tell them to stick it. That's the spirit I like. Now, I got a question for you. Yeah. Why is it that the CBS, they, they, they scramble their signals? Because they're a idea? bunch of bastards, sir. Is that right? That's right. I, and you know what? They didn't scramble. They didn't scramble uh, most of them, like on T uh, 
T115 was the... Did you watch the uh, uh, feed from the Super Bowl the other day? No, I just watched it on the regular. Oh, uh, you got a dish and you didn't watch the uh, original feed on T115. It's clear as a bell. No, I watched it on regular TV. Well, now you'll know. I wanted to tell you one other thing. I can't believe it. it. You missed a lot of good stuff. Brent Mousberger had his uh, finger up his nose all the way to his brain. It was great. Yeah, I, I love them uh, in between takes. Mm-hmm. They're great. Mm-hmm. Plus, Boca Cablevision gets WGN, by the way. Do they? Yep. What's friend that? of mine watches the Cup game. He lives in... Uh, I'm moving to Boca. He lives like uh, just right around 441 in Sandalfoot. Okay. And they get they get WGN. Yeah, I can leave for work at about 630 in the morning. Yeah. Hey, you know, I, my boss... Is I can great, have Clarence pick me up in the plane. My boss is a great hockey fan, by the way. He said to tell you that. Great. Hey, can I, can I call my tell boss... Tell him those Leafs are hot, sir. Can I call my boss a douchebag? Sure. Dennis, you're a douchebag. Okay. Okay, take it easy, Neil. See you. Bye-bye. 1053 at WIOD. Dade County, hello. Hi, I was going to tell you about the Cubs. I beg your pardon? I want to tell you something about the Cubs. Oh, okay. Hold on one second, okay? okay. W-I-O-D. Tell you about the Cubs. Oh, uh, what? Hello? Hold on. Oh, boy, an oldie but goodie. W-I-O-D. Neil! Hold on. Yes. Okay. Uh, I understand that weekday Cub games or weeknight Cub games, some of them are going to be on Channel 39 also. Uh, are you serious? Yes, I, I spoke to someone at 39... They said they cut a deal with to pick up the GN feed. Ah! The way they picked up the uh, WOR feed last ah. God! So it uh, might not be as bad as everyone thinks. Right. So you'll be able to get uh, Cubs coming out of uh, coming you know, out of my uh, something. Yeah. Well, listen, maybe then it won't be so bad, huh? Yeah. So now, we'll... how do we find out about that? I guess we'll have to call Channel Thirty Nine or somebody uh, from over there who knows something uh, will call us. Yeah. Maybe someone will call in, but... Are you sure you're not confusing this with the Channel 7 thing on Sunday? No, because I knew about this before I read the article uh, in the Herald on Sunday. Oh, that'll be great. God! Oh! Too bad they don't pick up uh, all of GN's feed and just send everything down. Exactly. Why don't they get with it? Why don't these people stop force-feeding WTBS in Atlanta with those stinking braves that make you depressed and manic? Even if nothing else, the movies on GN are always better than the movies on any other channel. Yeah, okay. yeah, GN's a great station. They do they do like weeks where they have like Alfred Hitchcock week or um, Cary Grant week, uh, uh, Clint Eastwood week. They have great movies and they've got uh, the Bulls and the Blackhawks, I think, or maybe not the Blackhawks, but they got the Bulls and they've got a lot of great stuff on there and we're not getting it because Ted Turner is basically running our lives. I'm sick and tired of Ted Turner running my life, okay? Yeah. Colorizing my life. Well, TNT isn't all that bad, but TV is oh, horrendous. TNT is... P- you like it? Once in a while, there's some good movies on at 3 in the morning that I put on the VCR and get in old old comedies or something. Mm. But I've never watched anything on TBS except, of course... Uh, the Rutgers. Braves. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And that's only for laughs. I mean, they got the wrong... They got Skip Carey. We want Harry Carey, right? Exactly. Or they got the wrong Carey. Okay, thanks for the info. Okay. That's Well, that's promising, huh? Maybe today, if nothing else, we can get that all straightened out and I can figure out what to do with my life because I love my new house. Man, it, it's just perfect. It's brand new. Got a nice yard that the dogs can go out and do lots of business in and um, got like a little... Well, Marcy knows. She's been snooping around my house. She better call in today, too, by the way. Marcy, who lives in my complex, who called yesterday. I want to... I, I don't know. I must have been pretty slow. I must have been in the middle mid, middle of eating that double beef burrito when she called, because I don't know how I missed out. How does she know if she lives in the other part of the complex that somebody was snooping around in my driveway looking inside the Ferrari? How does she know that unless she's right behind him snooping around herself, Marcy? What the hell is going on there during the daytime? I'm going to hire a, um, a super spy to snoop around there and see what the hell is going on in the daytime. They're probably having, like, lunch in my house and little parties in the backyard. I wouldn't be surprised. These people behind me that complain about the dish, doesn't somebody in the family work? I mean, this was going on in the middle of the daytime. So you figure you get it installed in the daytime, nobody's home, the neighbors don't see it, the umbrella covers it up, nobody knows. Not my luck. They're both home, the husband and the wife and their bratty little kid. They're all home in the daytime looking out the window. Oh, what's that? What's that? What's he doing? What are they doing? Is he renting or is he buying? That's another thing, boy. If you go into a non-rental complex where almost everybody owns and you're a renter, you rent one of the units from an owner... Man, you are like the scum of the earth down here, man. You're like, you're an outcast. You're a slime ball. Oh, he's a renter. He's one of those. And the amazing part of it is those of us who rent probably take better care because we got a big security deposit that we'd like to get back at the end of the lease. But, hey, don't confuse them with the facts, see? Oh, he's a renter. They got more excuses to hate people down here. It's incredible. Oh, look at that barker, man. He's got, I bet you he's got a llama wig on. 
That's the only thing I've ever seen that was that same white color, just like his puffy. It's not just regular white hair, it's puffy. I think it's llama hair, Bob. Wouldn't that be something? What a scandal that would be if it turned out he had a wig and it was made from some kind of animal product. Is he a vegetarian, by the way? No. Does anybody know is Bob Barker a vegetarian? See, I don't. I doubt it. He probably isn't. It's, in other words, it's okay to eat it, just don't wear it. That's the bottom line. Don't wear it. Bob, I think you're a hypocrite. You're a wonderful guy. It's a great show, but stop trying to be Mr. Activist, okay? You bore me to death. Okay, 1058 at WIOD, a Married with Children spy report. Yeah, how you doing? Great. Yeah, I was going to talk about the show, but you took too long. Maybe tomorrow when I call you back. Bye. <laughs> Good call, sir. You got a great sense of humor. And with a brain like yours, you'll probably wind up living in Deerfield, okay? Be a perfect, it'll be a match made in heaven. Anyway, we have an open line in Dade County, 751 WIOD. Well, it sort of looks like cottage cheese, but I'm not going. <laughs> well, listen, it's been a hell of an hour. It's been a lot of fun being here. I got to get ready, go home, and do some show prep for the big remote tomorrow. Anyway, Henry's doing the news? Well, that's pretty damn exciting, okay? Any morning that Henry is still uh, standing erect at this hour. Well, standing anyway. Uh, that's quite an accomplishment. In his case, Henry's got the uh, big WIOD newscast. We'll be back at 11.05. And speaking of erect, Alex Bennett with Richard Thimmons this afternoon and um, people from WLRN, Bob Slade, and prepubescent adolescent pippleheads from WKPX at Piper High will be here to talk new music and music radio and... It's really happening, man, this afternoon from 2 to 6. WIOD, Miami, Fort Lauderdale. Problem, and he's trying to solve it on a tacky, low-budget TV show. He is a certified idiot. This is the defendant. He's managed to keep his case out of a real court for years. But today, he'll be embarrassed in front of millions of viewers. He's a complete moron. Today, it's another case of moron versus idiot on the stupid people's court. Oh, are you people as dumb as you look? Uh, uh, just rather... Oh, God, because we got to kill a half hour till the news starts. Oh, okay. <laughs> so remember, if you've got a real legal problem, yeah. take it into your own hands, because anything's better than the stupid people's court. You know, this is a good idea. I'm a Cub fan. And a bud man, and I trust you are too. I like the way that ended there. It's 11.07 at WIOD, hour number two on a very traumatic Tuesday. We have a fax from the Phantom Informer who says that uh, the rumors concerning GTR supposed format switch have been initiated by Bob Rich at She, who allegedly is grinding an extra large axe for Cox Broadcasting. Also, it says stay tuned on Monday morning for the Rose Folger Show on Zeta. Shocking. The Rose Folger Show. I wonder when the Tim Williams Show starts. And the Rick Edwards Show. Yeah, that would be a good way to cut down their expenses because they probably their revenue is probably like next to nothing at this point, so they're just going to cut back, cut back, cut it down. And uh, they just put all the people in the building on the air. Maybe Spencer can get a show over there on the weekend. Two open lines are both in Broward. The audience has been absolutely insufferable today. We've got uh, just dozens of important things going on. They couldn't give a damn less. We have one open line in Dade, two in Broward. 751-WIOD in Dade and 524-WIOD in Broward. WIOD, hello. Yeah, Neil. Hold on. WIOD. Hey, I can speak to Neil. Sure, hold on. Yes. Hey, Neil. Yeah. I heard you were cutting down Deerfield earlier. Yeah. I've lived in Deerfield all my life. It's not so bad. Yeah. Well, you're under 100, so you must be one of the uh, minorities there, right? Well, see, uh, I live... Hold on a second. W-I-O-D. Hello. How you doing, Neil? Hold on. What? See, I live on the east side of Federal Highway, so it's a little bit better over there. Yeah. Well, just stay on the east side of the tracks, pal. Yeah, because if you go on the west side, then you run into uh, Cemetery Village out there. Yeah, that's it. Where all the Yentas are. You got it. And all the, all the little darlings are going, please, Sonny, get out of my way. Hold on. W-I-O-D, hello. Yes, can I speak to Neil, please? Sure, hold on. What? They go, that's my buggy, Sonny. <laughs> I like this new format. We don't talk to anybody. We just put them on hold. Yeah, well, that's the way it goes. It is. That's the way to do it. Well, listen, congratulations, sir. You're keeping Deerfield on the map. Well, I try. Okay. Good all luck. Right. Good all luck right. to you. 
Call us again next year. Here's a mobile in Fort Lauderdale. Hello. Hi, Neil. Can you put me on hold? Sure. Okay, let's go to a uh, traveling mad who heard his name mentioned earlier and immediately had to get in his uh, three or four cents. How you doing, Neil? Hold on a second. WIOD, hello. <laughs> Hold on. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what I do you think... want, Matt? Well, I, first of all, I figured you would just get mad and scream and hang up on me anyway without hearing me out. Why? You don't call this show. Well, I'm, I'm also sorry that I, I am a Bill Calder listener. and I... No, you don't have to be a, sorry to be a listener. So there's heard... a difference between being a listener... And becoming a chronic character like Granny, who chronic calls character. every morning at the same time. Well, I'm sorry every to tell you, day. but during the last two weeks, I've exactly called Mr. Calder's show once. Yeah, but for a while there, you and what was that moron's name that... Uh, Michael. Michael. Buddy. Yeah. Yeah. And I, it was every show. day. That's all I heard, every single day. Well, and... I'll, you start screaming about something after the fact, and it makes no sense, and it just annoys well, me. Well, I never said bit. it was it supposed to make off. any sense. It what? It pissed you off? It peed me off. Well, that's you no. Know, you can say it on the. You can't say it on QAM, but oh. you can say it over here. You know, I've been listening we to the bill since the we very first We can say anything day, here, sir. We just got our license you. renewed. What? I've been listening to Bill mainly for the very first day, and it's excellent because of you. And you know, people. Well, he owes me a lot. He owes me a lot. Then you got to find something bad in it, and. Tear him up and new ass and everything. That's right. I don't like that. That's right. That's me. I'm just a bad guy. Screwy Neil. Yeah. I don't understand. Can you sound explain? a little psychotic, Matt. You sound. You don't sound like the old uh, jovial chipper traveling mad. Well, I'm a little bit sound upset. Very, well, good. That's the idea. It's about time we shook some of you people up a little bit. Is once in just two sit weeks back in your complacent damn attitude, or just indifferent toward the rest of mankind. It's about time we shook you up a little. What about the chronics that call your show? We don't have any Bill chronics on this him. show. Well, he's not in a position to be ripping this show, okay? And well, I'm, I'm sorry I support somebody I enjoy listening to. Oh, listen to that. Oh, man. So emotional. Are you going to be all right? Yeah, I'll make it through today. No thanks to you. How about tomorrow? That's a new story. Okay. Maybe well, if I talk to Bill. C so call Bill tomorrow, real, but between 9 and... Show. Call him between 9 and 10. Why? Well, you swear you going to be listening? Yeah. All right, I will. Okay. Goodbye. Bye. Very upset. Uh, we have an open line in Broward where uh, Travel and Matt just sulked off at 524-9463. 524-WIOD. And one in Dade at 751. This is just like Monday all over again. WIOD. Mike Checker. Okay. Uh, Dade County, hello. Okay, line checker and a hang-up. Mark that down, Melvin. Line checker and a hang-up. Let's, uh, let's do... Is that a um, KPX... There ain't no KEX, Melvin. Even the calls he does answer, he gets it all uh, all screwed up on the uh, monitor. Mobile in Fort Lauderdale. Jeez, I've been holding forever. Well, that's because we figured you weren't there on a Boca line. Yeah, well, I, but I, I told you. See, I said, I said, let me hold. I, I just could, now don't dumb me. I got I to gotta say something here. Just relax. Please. Don't be so insecure now like traveling mad. Just relax. Well, no just, problem. I, I have to tell you something. I think this show is the most disgusting, despicable show in the United States of America. But you know what? I love it. Right. I love the show. That's why you love it. That's why I love it. It's a, it's a great show, and you're doing a good job, Neil. That's it. Okay. That's all I have to say. And Martin's a douchebag. Well, you're 100. No, no, I didn't think anybody was perfect, but you got it all cornered today. You think I did all right? Yeah, you did okay. Okay, well, I, I, I won't call you again until, like, uh, tomorrow at... Uh, 2 o'clock. Call me at 2 tomorrow. Call you at 2? Yeah. Okay, thanks. See you. Okay, it's 11.15 at WIOD. Hello? Hey, can I talk to Neil? Hold on. Wait a minute. Are you mobile? Yeah. Hold on just a second. Okay, we have a couple of open lines in Dade. 751-9463. 751-WIOD. Hello. Neil. Yeah. How you doing today? It's a mobile calling in Pompano Beach. Okay, you're the last mobile because i got to get that KPX listener on. I want to hear about all that pseudo-intellectual music that those pimply-faced kids up there at Piper play. Oh, yeah. I mean, that you know, every every old guy who comes into town from Stan right on down the list, they all want to be like Mr. 13-year-old, uh, okay? Uh, they all want to be Mr. Hip with uh, Elvis Costello and all these other uh, pseudo-intellectual uh, pinhead groups. Yeah. Go, go ahead. I'm sorry. Hey, no, it's all right. Dude. Get it off your chest, Neil. I just yeah. want to ask you one question. What, what do you think about people from Cleveland? Well, other than Mike Ranieri, I think they should all go back. That's what I think, too. Yeah. I got smashed in the room by one this morning. Really? Yeah. In the car or like in, in the supermarket? <laughs> in my car. Yeah. And I'm damn upset about it. Well, people from Cleveland have got a problem, okay? They're not used to driving on dry pavement. That's what it is. And they have the Cleveland Browns there, too. Yeah, well, they suck. Bernie yeah. Kosar makes me nauseous, okay? Yeah, I he's, agree. He's a well, piece of... Anybody that plays side saddle is suspect in my book, okay? There you go. Okay, there have a great life, sir. Been great. Don't do it again. W-I-O-D. Hello? Hello? Yeah. 
<laughs> okay. All right, let's get to that important call now on 8. Okay, now, Melvin screwed up here. I, I said K-E-X. Oh, I, well, no, I'm the one that said K-P-X. Cause yeah. I, what is K-E-X? K-E-X, it's the cart you just played at the top of the, at the, top of the hour. Well, where the 1190 hell is... 1190 K-E-X. Where's that? Portland. Oh, jeez. Well, who cares about that? I mean, that's not important. That just happens to be on the album. Here's the plant lady. How you doing? She just comes in very quietly. She's going to uh, put something poison on our plants. Oh, well, no, I just... Well, so well, let me ask you a question. What's that? What does that mean? Why, why do we care about that? Well, y you shouldn't care about it. We I don't. Know, and probably none of your listeners We don't. Do. The, oh, this audience today, I'm going to tell you, just like Monday all over again, I got four stinking calls on the board. These people are just... They're absolutely insufferable. And plus, we never got any call about WGN on the uh, on the uh, cable, on Key Biscayne or where the hell it is, those two cable companies. They're hopeless, sir. Yeah. They're yeah. out to lunch. This town is just, every day is like a brand new day. It, you become manic in this town. You never know what to expect. But in every little uh, every little show that you do, there's always something ex exciting. Yeah, in. right. Yeah. So I, always I, something I look forward to. Yeah, well, two o'clock. I just, I just thought, hey, that would blow them away if, like, I can get a tape of that and at like a Miami radio station. No chance. No chance. No. How about if, like, when I go back to Portland, if I could pick up a whole bunch of jingles for you? Oh, great. We love those jingles. Yeah. Yeah, we could do a, a jingle show on the weekend. We could I, have Blind Mike have his own show. Maybe that would keep him off the phone. And maybe that would keep uh, Joey off the uh, air. Come on now. Oh, I'm sorry. A mistake. I, I'm Did sorry. Did you hear his show Saturday? No, I didn't hear his show. Oh, Saturday. and already you want to get him off the air. Sure, I heard <laughs> that it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. That's well, what his wife told me. Yeah, well, she was listening to she. And you got Super Dave and Blind Mike. I heard all about it. Super Dave. Isn't that, uh, did you hear him this morning? I heard him this what morning. What the hell is his story? Whoever gave him a job on the air is what oh, I'd like to know. Oh, man. Just this kid is like Mr. Little Radio Expert. I hate those kind of people, those little experts. And they talk about all the jingles and the ratings. Mm -hmm. and, and, all, and they don't know anything. They haven't got any idea what they're talking about. Yeah. Hey, but that's what this show's all and about. And then when he said I was number three in the country be behind Joey Reynolds and Johnny Dark, that really <laughs> ticked me off. Oh, my God. But, uh, yeah, well, now we're ripping people off the air. Hey, listen, that's you can rip any, but that's what this is all about, sir. We got our license renewed. You can rip anybody you want, oh, okay? Can I Until... rip one? I like to no. rip one. Yes, please. Don't do it. Please, let me do it. Are you going to slander somebody now, this, sir, so we have to wind up with litigation and go into court and have a lot of grief and agony? Now, we don't like that here. This guy has it coming to him. Well, don't mention him by name. Just give me his uh, initials. Uh, no, you can... Like, B.S. No, uh, see, you won't recognize it from his initials. He's listening, too. Who? Rich Grund is a douchebag. Well, that's okay. Actually, it's Rich Grund Jr. Rich uh, Jr.? No, he, has a, he has a dad, actually, named Richard uh -huh. F. Grund. Well, that's great. Yes. If your name was Grunt, you'd want to be Jr., too, yeah. okay? Grunt. What's that's your name? Good. Oh, I'm Grunt Jr. Oh, we, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a great name, huh? What a great phone call. What, what a, a great, great call. Show. Yeah, what a great life. Mm -hmm. Get lost. 20 after 11 at WI. Do I sound a little, uh, Kurt, do I sound a little testy this morning? No, okay, that's good. I was afraid I did, but I, it's okay. We have one open line in Dade County, and they're not, they couldn't care anything about, like I said, I, see, I set them up for it. I said, you don't want to hear about the satellite dish again in the city of Plantation and about the Cubs and about getting, because uh, they don't want to hear, they're not interested in any of my problems. They've heard it all a million times, and they're sick and tired of hearing about it. They'd rather hear about traveling Matt and how uh, psychotic and insecure he is because his feelings have been wounded. Because he's chronic. I'm not going to sit here and decide who can call. I mean, I can't even control who calls this show, much less the other shows in town. I'm just extending my opinion, okay? I'm just uh, exercising my right, my constitutional right, like that old fart that called Alex on Saturday. I want to express my constitutional right. you got to let me say whatever. There's nothing in the Constitution about calling talk shows, okay, sir? I'm very sorry, but it's not in there. We'll talk to whoever the hell we want, and he'll like it. Like I said, it's your friendly station, 21 past 11. It's your neighborly station in South Florida. We're just like your neighbors, hostile and vindictive. Anyway, I want to thank Paul at Bagels and Company, 110th and Biscayne, for the delicious breakfast this morning. Very much unexpected. Don't do it again. Now, see, I asked for the orange juice, which, by the way, is everything he said it would be. It's got the... Paul. This is Joe Willie Namath, and this is WIOD, the music giant from Miami. <laughs> Hey, that's not bad, huh? Pretty damn exciting. I wonder what this one is. 
Hi, this is Dean Martin. This is Tony Bennett. Hi there, my name is Sammy Davis, Jr. Hi, this is Frank Sinatra. Is this the place? Right on the causeway. You, you can't miss it now. Frank says it's the place. Yeah, I think it's absolutely marvelous. You heard Frank say it. Just listen to service 610. W-I-O-D. The sound of the majority. Tony has said it, too. Chosen number one. By the adult majority of Miami. I think it's the greatest. Swinging this radio station in Miami. Server 610. Just leave the dial right there. Yeah. All right. Boy, that live studio audience would have gone nuts over that, wouldn't they? They'd be squealing. 25 past 11 at WIOD. Dayland Mall. Yeah, man. Speak to Glenn Hill. Yeah. Uh, Neil. What do you want? What a game. What a game. Did you see that Super Bowl, huh? Yeah. Well, what do you think about the first five minutes? 25 after 11 at WIOD. We have an opening in Dade, 751-9463. Go shopping down there, sir. They need your money. Don't waste our time. And we also have an opening in Palm Beach. If you're out of Palm Beach, it's a good way to get on immediately, okay? 655-WIOD. Let's get some new, fresh voices on today, like um, Ellis Rubin. Let's go to uh, North Miami Beach. Hello. Man, this is exciting. Yeah. Wow, speaking to my second favorite talk show host in the world. Right, next to Rod Roddy. Well, I revere the Burke, you know that, but this is a true story. I took a bus to Kalamazoo, uh, Michigan one time. Uh huh. Well, you should have got off. Let's go to uh, Hallandale. Hello. I don't want to. I don't want to. Now that was more like it. I was just starting to say uh, I don't want to hear boring personal stories. Okay, the audience is not interested. They don't even want to hear about my satellite dish. They've heard about it fifty thousand times, and you're calling to tell me you got on a bus to Kalamazoo? Not interested, sir. We're going to be more selective. That's one thing that I have to apologize for. I've let a lot of boring people over the years go on much too long, okay? Much too long. Yeah, have some of those uh, whatever's in there, okay? Get it out of here because it's just too much and i got a headache already. I told, I told Tom Denenberg, I can't, there's certain things that I can't eat. They give me a headache. I'm allergic to the gluten or something that they put in certain things. I told him that. And he just won't stop. He just won't shut the faucet off, okay? Somebody's going to shut his faucet off pretty soon if he doesn't cut the crap. Oh, I see. I'm not going to read that. Here's a, uh, oh, a Boca call that actually relates to something we've been talking about. I hope it's still there. Hello. Neil. Yeah. How you doing? Okay. I got a listing of all the cable companies in Palm Beach. Mm-hmm. And there are only two. Well, I'm not going to Palm Beach. You think I'm moving to Palm Beach? Boca. Oh, get out. It's lovely out here. This is where the, stop, station is, the station is in Miami. As it is, I have a 45-minute drive to work every morning, and it's the drive is getting worse every day because of the construction. It's like a nightmare. You take a Greyhound in. It's no big deal. Yeah. Listen, I drive around all day delivering pizza, and everywhere I go, Neil Rogers Show, Neil Rogers Show. Yeah, well, they don't call, I'll tell you that. They don't want to speak to us. They just want to listen. They don't want to play the game. You know, you can't take a compliment. You what? are so good, you just don't, you don't realize it, do you? I know how good I am, sir. I'm the best. The best. The greatest. Even Mustafar for likes you. And if I had a brain, I wouldn't be sitting here in this unfriendly, godforsaken town where your neighbors just want to make your life as miserable as they can. They're broken. They're stops. They won't. They look down on you. They'll leave yeah. you alone. Boy, if I got a friendly complex, I just moved into man. You'd, even if you drive into the place, they look at you like you're uh, an axe murderer or something. Oh man, you make the day go by so hey, quick. Hey, tell Coleman to bug off, okay? <laughs> tell Coleman to quit with these stupid. To tell him no. That sales department, man, they take more years off of our lives. And you love it. You wouldn't give No, I job. don't. No, I don't love it. I can't stand some of those people back there. They're just morons. Well, we can't open Ask you the same question over and over, and they pester you and nudge you and bother you. Just go out and sell the show, Coleman, and stop bugging me. Tell them what they want to hear, and then forget about okay, it. Okay, well, I'll be there this afternoon, Coleman. Go down there and wait. See, just sit and that? hold your breath. That's a good idea, sir. You really... By the tree. They're having trouble That's with the tree. It. That's it. Neil, thank you very Things much. Things are not going well at the tree. <laughs> have a great day. You too. Okay. What a joint, huh? God, they haven't got any more clue what's going on in this place. 29 past 11 at WIOD. We have an opening in Broward, 524. And the Boca and Palm Beach, nothing. Very, very, very surprising Tuesday, man. You people are really... Uh, you know, it's one thing. guy calls up and he says, everywhere I go... Everywhere I go, they're listening, they got it on, they're laughing, they're puking. They're... But, boy, we pump these numbers and pump these numbers. We can't just... Eight stinking lines. I'm telling you, if we had a hundred lines, they should never be unlit, any of them. That's what a great service we're doing for this community. And you people don't... You don't care. 
You just don't care. You take things for granted, and then one day you wake up, and all of a sudden, Paul Isle is back. Oh, I wonder what happened to that fat guy that you... Oh, he was kind of uh, amusing. <laughs> Boca. What? What? Now, what the hell was that? Were you on with him? Well, he panicked. Are you there? Boca? Yeah, see, that was a crank, and as soon as I came on, boy, he just uh, left town like a bat out of hell. Who the hell are you kidding, sir? You may fool Melvin for a second or two, but you're not going to pull the wool over this guy. W-I-O-D, hello. Boca? Yeah, see? If you would have answered, he'd, oh, I want to speak to the and then he'd come on here, <laughs> made some kind of grotesque sound. W-I-O-D. Yeah, what about uh, Harvey from Kendall? There's a real chronic... Harvey of Kendall or Harvey from Kendall? Of the one whose voice sort of cracked. Yeah, I know. I know. Harvey from Kendall. You know, he's been calling John Moynihan sports. Oh, he's got to have somewhere. He's got to have an outlet for his chronicness somewhere. He sucked up to Joe Rose last night. And, oh, he's, he is... Uh... Oh, by the way, I don't want to start ripping Jim Mandich, but boy, did you hear the crap he was coming out with last night on Sports Talk? No, I missed it. Man, I'm telling you, I have met some guys who are full of it. I think too many showers with the guys. I think it's affected his mind. He was ripping the crap out of Elway and out of the Broncos and how they didn't even show up and they didn't compete. You know, I'll That's tell you something. very so perceptive of him. You know something? If the Dolphins would have played the game and it would have been 99-3 to instead of 55-10, to he would have said, well, any other team in the league would have done the same in the AFC because San Francisco just dominates. They're awesome. You know, but but because it was Denver, he ripped them up one side, down the other. He ripped Elway. What the hell does he want? I don't know. The 49ers are the class of the league. Why doesn't he give them some credit? Yeah, that's exactly true. And he was pseudo-intellectualizing and all this other crap. Why don't you just tell it like it is and stop it, Jim? Why don't you cut the crap? Yeah. But he's a good guy, though. I like Mandich. Anybody who wears 88 on his back. Anybody who went to Michigan can't be all good. Well... That's, that's for he sure. He did. He went to Michigan. He's a Wolverine, okay? Does that tell you why he's going through this midlife crisis now? Uh, that says a lot. Plus, working here at WIOD with Zagaki, man, it's had an effect on him. It's just he'd never be the same again. That would do it for me. But Insecure. But the Cubs, that's what's, that's what's the exciting thing. If they're now on, you're talking, if boy. they're actually on 39 and on 7. Well, how come we don't have any information on that? Uh, some, why doesn't you have... Uh, why don't Martin? we have Nick call up Channel 39 and yeah. get some... Uh, and he's not doing anything in there. He's, uh, out of, he's out of supply, so we can't be doing any deals today. Yeah, Nick, why don't you do it? He's, I he's... looked in the room there. It's empty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. you think, I'm telling you. How do you think that guy makes... He drives a, a brand-new Porsche. Who, Nick? Nick. No. Nah. Yeah, he comes to work in a brand new Porsche with two chicks on his arm. I never see anything like it in my life. He lives in the the Grove in his big, uh, twenty five hundred dollar a month uh, palatial house with a big hat and a feather. Exactly. Well, what 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 can we do? And the Porsche is yellow. A yellow Porsche. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we we call it the Pimp Mobile. It's like Stanley Cohen's old Seville that he used to drive at INZ. He used to have this big, disgusting yellow Seville. We used to call it the Pimp Mobile. Which Stanley Cohen are we talking about? He used to be the manager at INZ before they fired his stupid ass. Not the, not the one who was murdered. That no, time. but uh, I think there's a similarity there somewhere. Well, listen, have a wonderful day. You've been okay in our book. Okay, great. See ya. Yeah, now, see, there's a caller. He's uh, He just kind of went with the flow. Now, what what's the story with 39? Are you going to have him call? I'd like to find out sometime between now and Purim, okay? It would be really nice if we could do that. Uh, we have an open line in Boca at 278-9463. W-I-O-D? Yeah, okay, same to you. See, that's that same jerk who keeps thinking you're going to... Don't answer the Boca line, Melvin, at all. I'll answer it every time. W-I-O-D? Hi, Neil. Yeah. Um, I just got in, but my, my buddy's told me you didn't um, get the dick tape. Get what? The, the dick tape. You know, he's going to bring in that tape. It's at home. The Dick Purton tape, sir. Don't try to pull that kind of language on me now. <laughs> Not having a good day so far, huh? I'm having a great day. I'm having more fun today than I've had in years. Uh -huh. This is the kind of show I enjoy doing. I'm ready to get a life again. Good. Start now. 26 till noon at WIOD. We have an opening in Boca. Don't answer it. Remember what I said. Do not answer it. WIOD. Neil. Hi. Hi. Boy, what a day Monday was. Was it? It was a horrible day. For what? Oh, for me. Why? What happened? My husband ended up going into the hospital. With what? Uh, he got into a cons in an accident in his job. And he's going to be fine. But and my girlfriend, it was a good day, too. He's going to be fined? He's going to be fined. Oh. 
Uh, my girlfriend also gave birth to her baby yesterday. Wow. It was a busy oh, day. Traumatic. <laughs> it was a traumatic There isn't day. any connection between uh, your husband's accident and the girlfriend's <laughs> baby, is there? I don't think so. I don't want to get too personal, but that would be kind of interesting. <laughs> I don't think so. That's but... the kind of stuff our audience can sink their teeth into. <laughs> From a, from a glass. To, I just wanted to say that um, you kept me sane yesterday, and I appreciate that. Well, we had a pretty good show for Monday yesterday. <laughs> it, was, not, it was pretty good. Yeah, it, it was okay. It kept me sane. Mediocre. It kept me from going off the deep end, and I appreciate it. Great. <laughs> so have a great day. You too. Uh, it'll get better. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Bye. Bye. It's 1135 at WYOD. Boca and Palm Beach? Nothing. Are we Now, what are we going to do? Are we going to take one more break? One more. Okay, well, let's hold it off. Let's uh, do like break us, interrupt us. Boca. Two more? Boca? Yeah. Hold yeah. on. Hold on. Okay, let's do one now. Well, I thought it was only one more, so if you're on that, the gentleman that's on hold, are you there? I'm still here. Okay, don't feel bad, but I just, uh, Melvin screwed me up. Okay? I know you love me. No, well, I won't go that far. You're too old. Okay, it's 25 till noon at WIOD. We'll be right back. The light this is Joe Willie Namath, and this is WIOD, the music giant from Miami where we play the best music. It's 23 till noon, and let's go back to Boca, because I promised, right? You promised, right. Yes. I just called w, uh, WDZL. Great. Well, we can't get Nick to do it, so I'm glad you did. <laughs> it's going to be four or five weeks before they make a decision. Oh. And they said they've had five or six calls already. Oh, well, listen, don't let everybody call channel, is it 39? 39. You want the phone number? Please. Um, Please. 925-3939. Nine. Wait a minute. I wish I had a pen that writes nine two five three nine three nine three nine. Well, that's clever. Uh, w D Z L. Great. We get all the Cubs fans to call and beg. Be nice. Call and plead and beg with them and say we'll go. We'll watch thirty nine all day, even if we don't mean it. Well, Mel go. Melvin says it's nine four nine thirty nine hundred. Is that a Broward number you gave me? I gave you a, yeah Hollywood number. All right, nine four nine thirty nine hundred and Dade. And nine two five thirty nine thirty nine in the Broward. Thank you. You're welcome. You're a great American, sir. Uh, why did I put him on hold? Just a second. Who's that on a bat line? Is that an order? Oh, that's an order. Uh, a little personal call there for Melvin. W Y O D. We're near here. Okay, hold on. Um. <laughs> <laughs> okay, call up channel thirty nine, please. Bombard them, deluge them. Tell them that we will send them. Uh, free food, I mean, anything, if they'll put the Cubs on, the more games, the merrier. Please, we're begging you. I mean, I will, I'll just chill for 39 until, uh, until I just can't speak anymore if they'll give me the Cubs. Because I know that the satellite dish is going to be history, like, this week probably, like any day it's going to be, because uh, I'm, I'm sick and tired of it, I'm fed up with it. I'm tired of fighting City Hall. I'm tired of fighting homeowners associations and rotten, filthy, stupid, nasty neighbors. I'm sick of it. 925-3939 in Broward, 949-3900 in Dade. Like I said, be real nice, be gentle, be kind, beg and plead and say anything that they want to hear. Lie a lot, if that's what it takes to get the Cubs, okay? Please. Okay, let's go to a mobile in Miami. Are you still there? Neil. Yeah. How you doing? First time caller, long time listener. Fabulous, sir. Thank um, God for you. Um, in the uh, Aventura area, I live in the Bay Club, and uh, they have WGN on the cable system in there. In Aventura? Yeah, it's called the Sunshine Television Cable. Uh huh. And uh, they I don't w think I'd fit in in Aventura. Do you? Well, it depends where you are in Aventura. Uh huh. Yeah, most of the time you got the ahas there. Oh boy! But in the area where I live, it's called the Bay Club. It's uh, mostly young people the in there. The Gay Club. The Bay. The Bay. Oh, Bay Club. B A Y. <laughs> huh? And uh, they have uh, the cable there. They have WGN. Well, what is it? It's apartments. Yeah, it's apartment rentals. Ah. Oh. It's a brand new building, about a year old. Hmm. You don't really have the blue hairs in there. You have no those. dogs, huh? No dogs. Good. That give me a good excuse. There you go. <laughs> okay. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Okay. The Bay Club. In Aventura, I'd be great at Aventura. I could go to the uh, Aventura Mall all the time and hang out and watch all those funny... they got the ugliest people in that mall. Even the young people at Aventura are ugly. I don't know what that's all about. Remember we talked about that like a year or two ago. Maybe they've got a new crowd. Man, do they, they still have that place, the uh, salad place, the Seasons, where you buy the salad by the pound. It's real expensive, but it's good. And you go through the line, and then you watch all the old people bitch when they get to the checkout. That'll be a ten dollars and fifty cents. Ten dollars, I Vizmir. I can't afford that. My CD is rolling over, like my husband. 
Uh, W-I-O-D, hello. Yeah, Neil. Yeah. Are you not screening calls? What do you mean? I thought I'd get... Well, the... Melvin's on the phone with Channel 39. He's trying to uh, be a little productive today, which is unusual for him, but he's trying to uh, get some information. Well, uh, this is keep this game. And the cable out here is Adelphia. Yeah. And there's no GN, no WG. Oh, so they gave me a bunch of crap. Well, thank God for that, because I don't want to live with all Goyim, you know. I'd like to have at well, least one or two Jews around just to make me feel safe. Well, they don't speak of the English out here too much. Eh? No. But the, the plus uh, side here is uh, it's unincorporated, so you can put a dish up if you get a house. Key Biscayne is unincorporated, Dave? Yes. Yes. Are you serious? I'm serious as are. Well, that would be close to work, too, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would be close to work, but like I say, it's uh, not too heavy on the English out here. <laughs> oh, I don't care about that. But, you know, it's close Cubans, to the, the Cubans love me, man. They love me. <laughs> from, uh, a dis from a distance. Uh, on the Camillus house, did you, are you going to total that up at the end of the month or what? $74,200 as of this uh, sitting. Is that right? That's yep. great. That's mm -hmm. wonderful. You I know? mean, that may leave a few cents off, but that's, that's it. Right. Uh, Dick Purton tape. Somebody send you a tape from uh, up. Well, it's a uh, it's a cassette that he puts out for Children's Hospital. It's similar to what we do, only it's much more professionally done with his picture. And I, uh -huh. you know, I shouldn't say that, but uh -huh. uh, yeah, it's got some hysterical stuff. And I left it home. I'll bring it in tomorrow. I promise. Oh, Believe that'll me. That'll be great. That'll be great. Got some funny stuff on air. It'll kill some. Go oh no, I can't do it tomorrow. Tomorrow's the remote. Uh, Thur Thursday. You know, speaking of the remote, I Thursday. was at your uh, Specs remote there at uh, on Biscayne, and what's that? 160 or where was that? 125. And it was, I had a tough time trying, you know, even looking down and trying to see anybody inside there. It was like everybody that yeah, it was packed. Well, it'll like really tough. be packed tomorrow because we've got the food. Monty's is giving food to the first 300 people. So, you know, every schnorrer in the world is going to be there tomorrow. How about setting up some kind of stage where you're kind of like elevated? No, I like being low. Do you really? Yeah, oh. way down. In fact, <laughs> uh, with, a, with a false floor in there so you can press a button and get out real quick. Great, great. It'll be okay. Out of material. Now. I hope I can find it. <laughs> It's real easy to find if, uh, if you've ever been down in Coconut Grove. Doesn't Nick live in the Grove? Yeah, in that $400,000 house. Uh, uh, I get lost in the Grove, but Fat Rich said you go down Dixie to 17th Ave and you make right, a left. Right, right. And you, you just go... Left and then go take that down to Bayshore and then make a right on Bayshore. Oh, right on Bayshore? Right he said go left. straight, and I thought that was a little unusual in the Grove. <laughs> Have a great day. Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye. It's 11.43 at WID. Here's the uh, straight poop now. Channel 7 will be doing the Cubs Sunday games, 20 to 29 games. 39 will not. What? They're negotiating with other companies for other teams. They're not doing the Cubs? Well, like I said, Channel 39, I think you people suck. Okay? Is that definite? So say, don't waste your phone calls, okay? It'll be just a lot of wasted effort, and you don't want to waste the time. Channel 39 makes me sick. Why can't we just get GN on the cable? I mean, I know we can't even get Sports Channel on the cable. Why can't we get WGN and get rid of TBS, okay? God, I don't, I don't want Ted Turner running my life. I want to see the goddamn Cubs, okay? And I guarantee you there are a hell of a lot more people, even people who don't like the Cubs, would rather see the Cub games than see the stinking Braves, the morbid, horrendous, boring, tragic, pathetic Braves. Boy, that's really exciting when it gets down to... Oh, look at that. There's a, a whole bunch of satellite dishes on there. What is that about on Channel uh, 10? What is that? Boy, having this TV set here freaks me out. Now, how about here? We have the big satellite dish out there. Can't we get GN? Why not? Why not? Set up the TV in the conference room and I can watch the afternoon games in here. And go home and rush hour traffic at about 5.30. That would be great. Or I could tape them. I could pop a, a tape in the thing there. I don't, but that's no good. I don't want to watch a game after I know what the score is. Man, that's boring as hell. It would be better than nothing, though. Be able to see the highlights and skip through all the boring stuff when um, Rick Sutcliffe's pitching. It's 11.45 at WIOD. We have an opening in Dade County, 751-9463. What happened to our KPX callers? There nobody, nobody listens to KPX. Don't believe when Stan comes on. Don't believe when he tells you, you know, he listens to KPX. He don't even know where it is on the dial, okay? He's, it's just, uh, he's trying to be uh, like, a, like Alex. You know, these old guys, like I said, that want to be hip and in. Hey, man, we're uh, doing it. We want to hear all that uh, mumbo-jumbo on KPX, that stuff that nobody ever heard of before. W-I-O-D.
Hi, I'd like to talk to Neil. Sure, hold on, please. Why can't everybody have good musical taste like me, okay? I mean, like, act your own age already, okay? Stop trying to be Mr. Hip, Mr. Happening, Mr. In. That's where it's at. Liz Welch. Music for people with loose gums. Roger, would you quit putting stuff back where it belongs? Where is that? Oh. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Liz Welch. Boy, a lot of pressure here today. A lot of pressure building up. I can tell we're going to have some whale of a day out there tomorrow at Specs 10 to 2. Down in the Grove, and you'll see me driving around trying to uh, find my way down there. It's 13 till noon at WIOD, and we'll be right back. Your 610 W. I believe for what you say when you say you're going steady with nobody else but me. Okay, it's 11:50, 10 till noon at WIOD. See so that? That's my taste. I'm an old guy. Okay, that's. I mean, some of the stuff today I like, not too much of it. But I'm not going to come out and pretend that I'm Mr. Hip and Mr. Cool because I'm not. I'm an old guy, and getting older every minute on this show. Pompano. Pompano. Yes, Neil? sir. Uh, I just want to call. Do you get USA Today there at the station? We sure do. We have it right here. Okay. I'm just wondering if you noticed they had the uh, spread on Atlanta. They're going to do a different team each day. I think they're going to have the Cubs on the fifth. Oh, yeah. It's yeah, I saw that. You mean in, in the paper they're yeah, going to do a uh, little thing, yeah. It's all spread out to farm mm -hmm. clubs and everything else. I thought you might want to know. Well, let's just hope these uh, jerks don't go on strike. That's all I can <laughs> say. I mean, I know they're only making two, three, four million a year, but uh, they'll have to make do with it. You know, we can't do any more for them. Really? Okay, well, that's all. I just want to make sure you wouldn't miss the Cubs spread. February 5th, that's uh, Monday. Yes. Thanks. Sure, bye. Sh don't call me Shirley. It's 1151 at WIOD. We have an opening in Broward, 524-9463. Let's bring back the Shirley Peters Show, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Come on, let's do that feminist stuff. I'd like to see Shirley on with Al Goldstein. Would that be great? But, oh, that would be cruel if I said we could never fit him in the same studio. That would be disgusting. Now, Shirley looked good. Remember when she filled her with Steve that day? A few months ago, she looked really good. Not, not slim, but she looked good. Uh, Fort Lauderdale, hello. Hello, Neil. Yeah. Uh, what's the problem with KPX? What's the problem with it? Yeah, you don't like the music? No, I never heard of any of that music, and I don't ever want to hear it again. But it's not for me, so it's not a problem. There isn't any problem, because it's not for me. It's for prepudescent, pre it's for little kids. <laughs> but at least it's different than everything you hear. Well, it. that's right. That's right. So would, uh, so would Liz Welch be different from everything you hear, you know? <laughs> right? I don't know about that. What, did you go to Piper High or something? No, I, I just listened to the station. I. How old are you? How old? How old do you think? Nineteen. About twenty-five. Twenty-five. Four actually. Twenty. Ah, uh, twenty-four. See. Yeah, you're right. Pretty soon it'll be twenty-two. You have Alex Bennett syndrome, sir. So you're getting younger by the minute. Well, he don't even know what KPX is though. Well, he will. He's gonna find out today. He will. He'll find out today, and he'll be just salivating all over because he's into that the, the Ramones. That's all he talks about is the Ramones and Elvis Costello and. <laughs> Lou Costello and Bud Abbott, and he's just uh, heavy into that, which is fine, you know. They have the best Fountain of Youth, because pretty teacher. soon, at the rate he's going, he's going to be about 17. It'll be perfect. Yeah, well, KPX has the best talents for DJs. Oh, come on. Will you get serious? They've yeah, got a bunch of pimply-faced little uh, uh, bratty kids over there at KPX. They're a bunch of little brats. But they have, uh, they're like, super, they're like, like the Super Dave of high school. <laughs> they have an excuse, though. They're not pros like Herman and McQueen. Well, who's uh, yeah, pros? Boy, you're really getting carried away, aren't you? Well, they get paid, you know. Well, okay. Sure. So give it a chance, Neil. Okay, 88.7, right? Five. A 88, what? 88.5. What's five? Like the median demographic? Your new music leader. Is that what they call themselves? Your new music leader? Yeah. That's cute. That's really cute. A lot of clear soul commercials. Yeah, no doubt. Is that uh, Kid Steve still working over there? The one with a crappy attitude? I don't know. There, that really ticked me off. When I was on Zeta, do you remember it all? Or well, have other DJs made it to Zeta, right? 
Who's that? Uh, at nighttime, Tom Roberts. Who's that? Tom Roberts was from KPX? Well, he used to do Sunday morning... Uh, well, everybody's been on Zeta, man. It means he must work for nothing. <laughs> I guess. If Rose Folger's going to be doing morning starting Monday, what does that tell you? <laughs> Maybe you ought to uh, apply for a job over there. You want to be a dish jockey? I was thinking about Call it. up Pete Bolger, man. If you work cheap, he'll put you on right now. I do good at weddings. Do you? Yeah. Well, that's good. <laughs> Are you married? Yes, I am. Well, how did you do at your own wedding? Well, I did all right. But, uh... Week, you know, week, no week on the honeymoon, though, huh? That's what I heard. Week on the honeymoon. Yeah. Well, listen, practice makes perfect. Have a great day. Okay, thanks. See ya. Well, I like his refreshing honesty, okay, sir? You are a breath of fresh air. How do you like that? Huh? Stick that in your pipe and toot it. It's six minutes till noon at WIOT. <laughs> I think somebody put something in my OJ this morning, okay? I don't like all those initials. I get real nervous when you start with a lot of initials, you know? Let's go to Miami. Hello. Miami? Keep the bird. Okay. Uh, let's go to North Miami. Hello. Hello, Neil. Took him like about four seconds to come up with his ad lib. Yes. Neil, what's going on over there? That's a good question, boy. If I ever come up with the answer to that, I'll reveal it right here on the air. <laughs> so what's the deal? They're not going to show the Cubs on 39? No, nah, it's the guy they were evidently negotiating, and it didn't work out, so now they're trying to find some other I some stiff team great. to put on. Why is that? I think that's great because they show the Yankees already. Who the hell wants to see the Yankees? The Yankees are the world's classiest team, buddy. <laughs> yeah. What are you laughing Boy, at? Boy, you must have had the about? same thing in your orange juice this morning that I had. Hey, look, what are you drinking now? Tropical Gem? I'm drinking uh, fresh from... Uh, tropical Gem. It is tropical. You're right. That's the name on it. Tropical Gem. Yeah, I know. Gem. My friend owns that company. Tropical Juice Company. No water, no sugar, no preservatives, no nothing. But it's delicious, and it's got that pulp in there. It's fresh squoze. Oh, I know that. Fresh squoze. <laughs> Better watch it. <laughs> I know. There's nothing like fresh squoze. Have a great day, sir. All right, buddy. And don't forget, George Steinbrenner's still a douchebag. It's 11... And I don't care if Alan Finkelson doesn't like it. He just can't stand the truth. Right, Alan? I'm going up there to Pompano one night this week just to bust his chops about his douchebag buddy, George Steinbrenner. I'm so sick and tired of the Ted Turners and George Steinbrenners. How come they don't have a little class like Eddie DiBartolo from the uh, 49ers, okay? Did you see when they spilled the uh, stuff on him and he said, you son of a... And, you know, and then he went, whoops, whoops. That seems to be the new thing on TV now. Everybody's using four-letter words. They go, Oop, whoops, whoops, are we live? Is that the... Yeah, they're all, let's face it, you take away the uh, white shirt and the tie, and they're all like Axel Douchebag there, Axel Rose, Rod, whatever his name is from uh, Guns N' Roses. They're all the same. They're all a bunch of slobs. Let's go to uh, Pembroke Pines. Hello. I want my cigarettes. Okay. We'll send them right over in a brown uh, paper bag. Let's go to Coral Springs. Hello. Hey, great call. It was good. <laughs> Excellent call. I should hey, get I out that Montevani music from uh, Cuckoo's Nest. Oh, huh? yeah. It gets my bowels to move in, let me tell you. Yeah, it's good. Hey, listen, when you live in South Florida, that's a plus. <laughs> Alex Bennett's spy report. I was... Uh, All right, wait a minute. Let, hold on one second. Let me get the... Because I actually found it right away, which is a miracle. Uh, let, for the lady who called, or who whatever that was, in the previous call... Okay, go ahead. <laughs> I was peeking in Alex Bennett's window, and uh, he was coming out of the bathroom, and uh, he had a whole crowd following me as a studio audience, no matter where he goes. That's unbelievable. Uh-huh. It's interesting how different parts of your call all seem to fit in together. <laughs> I got a cure for your uh, Cubs thing. Why don't you start your own uh, TV station? Yeah, okay. Channel... Maybe you get the Cubs or get whatever you want on. Channel 69. It's going to be on the air immediately, if not sooner. <laughs> Gilligan's Island. Yeah, and, uh, we can simulcast WKPX in the uh, afternoon for all those little pimply-faced kids that can't get it on their radios. Yeah, you get the, the new Brady show that's coming on. So oh, something great. Else we really need. Who's that, Steve Brady? <laughs> no, it's the, the new Brady Bunch. Really? Yes. They're all old and ugly, sir. We don't want to see them anymore. They were young and ugly. That's true. All right, got to go. Have a great life. Bye. This is Joe Willie Namath, and this is WIOD, the music giant from Miami. <laughs> Where we play the best hits all the time. And we play them the way you like them. Right, Joe? Right, Willie? 
How'd you like that last play of the game, Joe? Boy, he makes me nauseous, man, I'm telling you. That seems to be the new prerequisite for doing color on the TV on any kind of sporting event is that you have to have some kind of a speech quaggle, like Bob Cousy. Hey, well, 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 have you ever heard Cousy speak? He can't speak at all. He has the trouble with the letter R, and the only problem is that almost... Now, Boston Celtic, I admit, there are no R's in Boston Celtic. I'd like to see him doing the New York Rangers. The Rangers, he's got a thing, man. He's got the strangest speech quaggle that I've ever heard in my life. And he's on uh, something. He's on something on one of those channels that I am presently seeing, but probably won't in a couple of days. But I know you don't care. You don't give a damn. What's going to happen during baseball season when you miss all those exciting reports the following day on the game? We'll all be in the dark together, as Johnny would say. Deborah Martinez, who was in here sucking up some free breakfast earlier. Deborah's got the noon WIOD news. And then we'll come back at 12.05. The Alex Bennett Show, Richard Simmons. Oh, boy. Probably grab somebody around the neck and squeeze real tight. And Bob Slade from WLRN, Pseudo Intellectual Radio. And then a bunch of pimply-faced kids from WKPX to teach us what real music is all about. Now, here's Neil Rogers on News Talk Radio 610 WIOD. This is Joe Willie Namath, and this is WIOD, the music giant from Miami. That, that was not a talk-up. That was a clap-up, ladies and gentlemen. A clap-up. Get out of here. Don't. I'm telling you, the guy is so sensitive. They all. They, now, I just want to go on record. I don't know who originated it yesterday. It was a funny bit. Melvin? Melvin did it. Melvin did it, Gary. Melvin. But uh, Alex is like a basket case already. He's only been here a little over a week, and he's already a basket case. He's very sensitive, thin-skinned, and emotional. Although he should have his cable by now, so he should feel better. But we can't do that every day. I'm telling you, the guy's going to have a nervous breakdown. He's going to think I'm picking on him, and I'm not. I think he's wonderful. I think his audience sucks, but I think he's great. Don't start, okay? Just lightly. Very, that's it. Very lightly. Yeah. Like with one hand. Now, are we all set for today? Because I kept hearing yesterday, Alex kept saying, uh, he kept asking Nick in an incredulous fashion, like it got to be about 3 or 3.30, and we still had nobody for the audience. Have we got an audience for today? No, get it. Shut the mic off. Get out. No, seriously, do we have... They may need you at 2 o'clock. Save the energy now. Seriously, do we have an audience for today? No? Yes? Maybe not. Now, listen, we can't screw around with this. The guy came in here, and he expects people to show up every day, and we got uh, Pizza Loft. He's sucking my sponsors dry, by the way. Uh, pizza Loft is coming this afternoon with food, which is always outstanding. So please, if you're anywhere in the area, please, we beg you, to a stop in on the Alex Bennett Show at 2. And you can uh, talk heavy-duty music today. You can talk, uh, pretend like you know something. But don't giggle and don't go, woo, do that. Oh, man. That stuff that studio audiences do because they feel that they're compelled to make jackasses out of themselves. Oh, God, it just, it just sends shivers up and down my spine thinking about what people will do, man, especially if they're on television. Anyway, let's go to Lake Worth, speaking of ancient. Hello. Neil, i got the ratings here on the back page of the opinion section of the Palm Beach Post, if you, if you want to hear them. It's the ratings for what? Uh, the Arbitron, four for, ratings. For who? Uh, the different stations that come into Palm Beach County. Yeah. Okay, this has here, uh, number one, W-E-A-T, AM, FM, 19.2. Yeah, that's slush, that's elevator music. Number two, W-R-M-F, right. 8.5. Mm-hmm. Three, J N W J N O six point seven. Four, W H Q T five point nine. Five, W I R K five point four. Six, W O V V four point four. Four, seven, W S H E three point two. Eight, W K G R three point zero. Nine, W N G S two point six and ten. W-H-Y-I and W-I-O-D 2.3. Yeah. So uh, uh, half these stations I never heard of because I'm not an AM, FM, I mean I'm an AM freak only, not an FM. So these are news to me. Yeah. Is it, I mean, there's any... There's, I, I got well, I don't want to interrupt you. I don't want to be rude, but we already uh, ran that down about a week ago when the uh, Palm Beach book came out. Oh, 
Um, but it figures the Palm Beach Post, they're always about a week behind. I agree. Who owns that? Is that a Cox paper? Yeah, yes, we, it is. We own that. Atlanta? Well, that's probably where they got the information by At way of us. Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah. Okay, thanks, Neil. I think we shipped the uh, tape over to uh, Palm Beach. I see. Thank you, sir. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, for that repetitive crap. It's 10 minutes past noon at WIOD. Palm Beach is open and available, ladies and gentlemen. At 655-WIOD. Don't forget to come out now. Our live studio audience at Specs tomorrow in the Grove. We could have some fun with them, couldn't we? Because we're going to be giving out a lot of tremendous amount of free food for Monty's, 300 uh, gourmet meals or whatever the hell it is. WIOD. Yes, can I speak with me, please? Sure, no problem. Hold on, sir. Thank you. Shoe size? Ten. Okay. Uh, ten minutes after twelve. Well, we're going to start asking some pretty personal stuff when you call. I'm sick and tired of, like, uh, Hollywood, Fort Lauderdale. And nobody cares where you're calling from. But, like, if you had a uh, 26-inch waist and you were 60 years old or something like that, that'd be kind of interesting. Or if you had a 60-inch waist and you were 26 years old, that could be uh, pretty intriguing, too, right? Anyway, here's a little question for you. Can you afford $4? <laughs> Okay, 1213 at WIOD, and let's go to Hollywood. Hello. Hi. Hi. We had a radio accident the other night. Yes. It was awful. Hmm. I had my son in the car with me and turned the radio, turned the car on, and, of course, it was on WIOD, and little Dickie Farfel was on. Oh, my God. With an 8-year-old in the car. I was really, you know, I have to be really careful. Can't give my name, you know. They'll be after me for child abuse. But, uh... All of a sudden, he starts screaming and yelling, and my son turns to me and says, He sounds just like Donald Duck. Mm -hmm. And I thought it was very perceptive of the child. Well, I'm... you've never seen them together at the same time, have you? Never. Never. And then Sunday, when we I turned the radio <laughs> off... Yes. Excellent. Excellent. Well, that's part of last night's uh, abbreviated show. Yeah, when we got in the car on... Um, my husband's car on Sunday, he had the radio on, and of course it was on WIOD, and <laughs> little Dickie Farfel was on. A lot of accidents in that car yours lately. I'll tell you, it's bad. He was complaining that he was having, uh, trying to have a show where people would call in and rip them. Mm -hmm. The only trouble is you have to have an audience. Yeah, that's you know, true. And the same three people kept calling him back all day, mm -hmm. telling him how wonderful he was, and isn't it amazing, you know, how Stan used to spend hours having a show where people could rip him, and no one was calling him, telling him how bad he was doing. Well, I wouldn't worry about it. I hope not. He's unbelievable. Yeah, I wouldn't lose any sleep over it. You know what I mean? I don't. I think he does, but I don't. <laughs> we sure as heck don't. You will. Have a great day. See you later. <laughs> okay. Bye. That's all I'm saying. 1215 at WIOD. We have an opening in Broward at uh, 524 Accident, 524 Mishap. And let's go to Miami. Hello. Man, Neil, my ear is sweating like a whore in church. But anyway, <laughs> that's not why I called. I've been holding for so long. Boy, that was uh, pretty interesting. What is that, like a Tennessee Williams line or something? What the hell is that? I don't know. I heard it in a I think you've been reading some old Erskine Caldwell novels or something. No. Hold on a second now. W-I-O-D, hello. Yes. Uh, oh. We're going to send uh, Neil some balloons tomorrow, and I just want to know, does he have a D in his last name? No. R-O-G-E-R-S? Right. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, did you hear that? Yeah. Neil. He's sending balloons. Sir. Yes. Are you there? I'm talking to you. Okay. Okay. So, anyways, I think you know the way you've been. Didn't eating you late. hear? Didn't you hear this guy? Who? The guy that was just on who's sending balloons for tomorrow. You seem like totally disinterested. Well, that's nice. That's real nice. Wouldn't you want to come by Specs and maybe blow a few up? Could I get one? Sure. Okay. But anyways, um, you've been eating so much lately on the I know. radio. I know. It's it sounds disgusting. like I'm not gaining any weight back though. Just yeah. maybe. Maybe 60, 80 pounds. You're going to have more chins than a Chinese phone book. That's right. No, don't, don't press it. That was so good. You know, it was really so excellent. You can't outdo that. <laughs> it was. It was great. Okay. Um, what else was I going to tell you? I don't know. Oh, I know what it was. Why do your neighbors not like your satellite dish? What because my neighbors are yentas in training, okay? They're just getting ready. They're preparing for a life of inflicting misery on anybody that comes in their path. 
I know, but is it like such an elite area that they don't really No, want? not at all. Not at all. It's just like a um, yuppie heaven, you know, it's not